Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Miller and I'm the Director of Technology Advocacy here at Cohesity. And I'm Siddharth, I'm part of the product management team here at Cohesity. So what we're going to talk about today revolves around what you know as files and objects, but we're going to talk about it as in form of Cohesity Smart Files. That's what we refer to our file and object platform as. And so we gave it the name Smart Files because it is more than files and objects. Smart Files is multi-cloud simplicity, intelligent data management, and even has active cyber defense built right into the platform. Now, what we're seeing and part of why we've done this is that organizationally, standard files and objects without these additional capabilities don't really give enterprises exactly what they need, especially with the evolving security, cybersecurity landscape we see out there. So we're gonna focus heavy on how we can improve your file and object security posture if you implement smart files. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by just breaking down some of the challenges that we're seeing from an industry perspective with files and objects. So first and foremost, downtime risk. Anytime you have file and object downtime, you are at risk of being out of compliance uh, with your data. And that's not a place that an organization wants to be. So in terms of smart files, Sid, how do we, uh, how does smart files help organizations be better prepared for that situation? So whenever these uh, attacks happen or there is risk of downtime, uh, oftentimes people try and encrypt this data which is already stored on your data storage platform. So to prep our customers against that, we provide this in two forms. One is the secure uh, data placement. So on Quasity smart files, they can use Worm, which is right once read many protection. For SMB and NFS, we have uh, something called data lock and file lock, where once the data has been written, it cannot be tampered with or deleted, which helps uh, prevent against these kind of attacks where data cannot be encrypted. For S3, which is the other protocol that we support on the same platform, we have object lock and legal hold. Now, the second part of that is the user-based access control for which we have multi-factor multi authentication for users who are accessing the data. We have role-based access control, not just for SMB NFS, but also for S3. And then we have at rest data encryption and in-flight encryption. A lot of vendors don't provide that. And even if they do, customers have to rely on third-party key management server. With this, we take away that overhead. And in addition to all of this, we provide audit log capability, which helps customers understand which action was taken on what file at what time using which IP address. And that helps a lot uh, with a, any postmortem analysis after these kind of attacks happen. That's extremely powerful. I mean, everything that you just talked about has the potential to completely mitigate any kind of risk of downtime yeah. with the right settings in place. That's, all, that's awesome. All right, so now let's talk about the next set of challenges. And this focus really revolves around ransomware and anomaly detection. So oftentimes traditional file and object systems don't have any reporting capabilities or insights into data modifications at all. So can you talk a little bit about how Smart Files looks at data differently to help in this area? Sure, there are a couple of ways here uh, in which we go about this. We have an app called Spotlight, which helps you analyze your audit logs where you can understand what action was taken by which user at what time. In addition to that, we have Helios, which is our single pane of glass for management of multiple clusters. Mm -hmm. uh, in Helios, we uh, using uh, that, using machine learning, we identify the anomaly based on file events and also the data write and data read patterns. Uh, when it comes to file events, uh, be it file create or file deletes or uh, file modifications, if there is any anomaly there, we identify that using machine learning detect it and report it and send automated alerts to the customers so that they can detect it in real time and then you know take the corresponding step to take the corrective action there. 
Awesome. So by way of all of that, then you get the ability to really see what's going on with your data, which is necessary to uh, overcome these challenges. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about our last set of challenges, and that revolves around the fact that sometimes things happen. Um, for example, ransomware, I mean, that's that can be different. They have different yeah. forms of ransomware. Let's say that gets at your data. And you need to be able to recover. So it's important to be able to not only recover, but be able to adhere to your business level recovery SLAs. So how can Smart Files help with that? Absolutely. Uh, we have customers who have actually been in these situations, and uh, the way they have recovered is we already have immutable uh, snapshots for the data which has been stored on smart files. In Helios, they can you know go and select a particular snapshot where they want to roll back to. Within the snapshot with Google-like search, they can select a particular file or folder which they want to recover, which they feel or think has not been tampered. Mm -hmm. And this not only helps recover the data, but helps recover that data quickly because you remove that management overhead. Mm -hmm. Using Helios, it makes the whole management from step one all the way to step three much more easier. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's important, right? We have to be able yeah. to do that efficiently. So it really ties things together. So if I were to wrap things up and kind of summarize what we talked about today, so our active cyber defense strategy improves the overall security posture of files and objects in an organization. And so it's going to help mitigate downtime risk. It's also going to help by offering up reporting that typically wouldn't be there and if needed can make sure that you're adhering to being your recovery SLAs for your organization.